He got this little. <gasps> I dropped it. Dang, you don't need to tell me. Okay. <gasps> Once again, it's me proof. Hey guys, and welcome back to the wildlife of Sarah Winfrey. Today we have some big, big news. So I went to the pet store today and I got something and she's really cute. Okay guys, I would love for everyone to meet my little baby, Tater Tot. I also got a huge box from my one of my favorite makeup companies because they are cruelty free. Elf is also fairly inexpensive, but their products are really good. Um, this is not sponsored by Elf, but still, like I love Elf. Um, and I know lots of people are gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, that's cheap," but like, I don't care because even I got this from Elf, and Elf has been, you know, around for a really long time, but it just started to explode my table is getting readjusted there we go um and like become popular and their brand is actually very good you know the products they have um believe it or not are actually pretty good quality in my opinion so we're gonna do an unboxing i already opened it because i couldn't wait because i was really excited and i really really love how this is cruelty free and vegan um i'm a big person for like vegan not tested on animals stuff okay so this is our first little little guy so in, <laughs> it's so small i'm not i'm not going to complain though this is actually adorable like look so, at my hand it's the teeniest tiniest little <laughs> so we got this little <gasps> i dropped it didn't even boom right there that is some quality it's me proof next we have this elf matte blotting powder i will open this this is what it looks like is actually ignore my nails guys i really know i know they're disgusting you know oh! once again it's me proof that's what it looks like and next we got ooh, <laughs> eyeliner, which I, I went through a phase of being really good at doing my eyeliner, but like, it was a phase. Next, we have this little box. Best of Elf Skin Care Set. It has lots of little stuff in it. The last item, which is this, is a set of 12 brushes. I've never gotten this many brushes in my whole entire life. So, this is going to be really fun to play with. I'm going to open this now. Once I figure out how to open it. That was fast. Ooh. So, this is the... This is the bag, and I will open it up. I really am struggling today. Ooh. First off, oh, this on the end, it, it smells like straight up paint in here. Okay, so this, inside this bag, it smells toxic. Like it smells like straight up spray paint. You know, like that, no, we're throwing that out. Okay. They're definitely, I mean, they're definitely synthetic because they're actually pretty soft. Yeah, I really like how soft these are. So they're synthetic because, once again, e.l.f. is cruelty-free and vegan. This one is an eye blender brush. So you would use that to, like, smudge. Next. This one's... <laughs> I love these. They're so soft. This is a total face brush. It's not like a um, loofah. Oh, my goodness. This is so lovely. They all smell like spray paint, guys. I don't like that very much. That's like my only complaint so far. These really smell. Um, what's next? <gasps> a bronzing brush. I don't even have my full makeup set like down here. This one feels like a little bit rougher, the bronzing brush, but I really like its angle um, to get that like 
boom, right across that face. It's, yeah, again, it's like, mm, you can definitely tell these are synthetic, but again, like not the worst quality brushes I've ever felt. I've actually gotten um, non-synthetic, like actual fur brushes before. Um, and they're, honestly, I don't like them as much as I like the synthetic because they're very soft and they tend to not like have those hairs that like come out and like, you know, like stray like that. Um, which I really like because I don't, I don't want to have any loose little things. I like how it looks neat. Never seen this looks like a paintbrush. What? Eyeliner. This is not an eyeliner. Who puts eyeliner on? I would stab my eye out before I use, or while I use this. This is an eyeliner brush, apparently. That, that's dangerous right there. That is pointy. Woo! Woo! Next, what is that? Concealer with this one. So this is apparently a concealer brush. Oh, I well, okay, so this thing, it's tiny. This is extravagant. Whoa, what is this? Brow comb. Ooh. Look at that. I really don't I don't touch my eyebrows with any form. Who combs their eye? I don't understand the purpose of combing. Like, they're not tangled. They don't need a comb. Let me just comb through my... Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> Let me just comb through my eyebrows. Oh, yeah. That's actually really, like, soothing. It feels great. Maybe I'll just do it for the heck of it. I don't touch... Maybe this does, like... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, let me just do that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really do eyebrow. Like, I don't use eyebrow stuff. So, yeah, that's eyebrow stuff. Eyebrow. Honestly, though, it's a little rough. Maybe it's supposed to be rough. I could use this as, like, a face itcher. <laughs> I have no idea, guys. So, this is, I mean, like, Honestly, though, if you were trying to, like, style your baby hairs, you could probably use this for that, I feel. on it. Yeah. That would be so... Yeah. You should you get this if you have baby hairs and you want to put, like, gel on them. I highly recommend, I think. Not very educated in that. Ooh, what's this? Lash and brow wand. Another eyebrow thing. Wow, people like really care about their eyebrows. I don't touch, I like, it looks like I've like, like waxed them or shaped them. I don't shape or wax my eyebrows, I've never have. So, except the middle. I only like pluck the middle to get rid of my unibrow. But that's it. Next. What is this pointy thing? Lip defining. Well, be. This is a lip defining brush. It defines your lips, apparently. Ooh. I can see myself using this if I ever had to define my lips. I don't really use like lip stuff either. Not really a beauty guru. <laughs> Whoops. What is this? Defining eye, ooh. So this is a defining eye brush. Again, it's never gonna focus. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. So that's what this is. Oh, what is this? Smudging eye sponge. Guys, this is like a baby beauty blender on a stick. That is so weird. Oh, it's intense. I can just like massage my face with that. Is it like flexible? Oh, it is. It's surprisingly bendy. All right. Next we have this, which is another eyeshadow brush. Again, very soft. I really love how soft these e.l.f. brushes are. Um, why is it? Stop trying to focus. It's just annoying me. Okay, whatever. So... That's what it looks like, my phone. Guys, I really wish I had my good camera. The things I would do if I could have known we were friggin' coming to Florida. 
Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a foundation brush. I'll probably use this for applying masks, honestly, because I don't use foundation, but this feels so soothing on my face. It's so soft. Guys, these are really soft. I really like these. And they really do. They look like high quality. I mean, yeah, they look good. It's not like I got anything bad quality. The only thing I really hate is the smell. They smell like they were like covered in spray paint. Maybe that's this. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Okay, next. Um. Uh. Bleh. I wish they didn't use as much plastic too. I wish they didn't use like as much plastic packaging. Can we? I would love to know the purpose of this. It's a lot of work. Okay, so in here, let me just take these out. Oh, this is so cute. So we have a little toner bottle. It's really cute. I like the like bluish color of these too. Oh. What's next? Hello, oh, hello, not hello. Hello hydration face cream. Ooh. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, it smells delicious. I like that a lot. What's next? A little, oh, it's a little teeny tiny little thing of eye cream. I always use eye cream because I have horrible bags and like, this is already, it's filled to the brim. Elf does not skimp out on like products. Like, yes, I know I got like the trial set, but this is just packaging. And it's, it's actually quite weighty. It's not like cheapy, light material. This is actually quite heavy and it feels really nice. Like in your hand, it's like, yes, there's product in there. Oh. And they also always come with a safety seal, which I love or like a little cover um it smells so good and then we have daily face cleanser let's open it up and again they these smell like amazing guys like ooh, they smell so good oh and now we have a little so much plastic whoo it was stuck to the back with one of these little oh it's stuck to this that's sticky, I don't like that. Oh, this. Okay, well I guess not. A little hydrating water sheet mask because dry skin is never in. They got those bars. Okay, first I'm gonna give you a little beauty routine. We're going to try out the matte, matte, matte blot, the matte blotting powder. We are going to use, you know, that. This brush. See how it works. <gasps> Ooh, so lovely. So uh, this brush is pretty good with holding product, and it doesn't come off. Let's let's uh let's try. It. Oh, it feels so good on my face. It's like a face happy thing. I don't know. Mm. Doesn't do anything. I'm gonna go in with this bronzing brush. And instead of using it to apply bronzer, I'm applying this blotting powder because that's what I'm using. Um, looks pretty matte to me. Got all this out. Okay, guys, we're gonna go right in with this. I wish I had a like lighter base color, but I don't. So whatever. Just a little drop out from when I dropped it. All right, what brush are we gonna go in with? There's a lot of options. I should not have gotten this many brushes because now I feel like I need to choose and there's a lot of... <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this. What is this? An eye brush. Oh, that's so I just realized I didn't like video any of that. I was just talking to a blank screen. Um, okay, good enough. So that's my honor. <laughs> so this is the final look. Um, I like it. Um, definitely not like my normal vibe. Let's see ya.